interrelated supply. Interrelated supplies this show the relationship between the supply of commodities as a result of the change of one of the related commodities. What are the types of interrelated supply? This include the competitive supply. So under what is known as the types of interrelated supply, competitive supply at the first type, this happens when the different commodities compete in the use of the certain resources in the process of production. So in this case now, the what is actual produced, what is actual produced. So in case uh, if production of one commodity increases, it increases, it would mean that now few resources remain in the production of another commodities. So for example, if more land is used for production of cash crops, it would mean that the smaller land area remains for the production of other crops, especially food crops. So competitive supply also applies to substitute goods like coffee and tea. So when the price of one of the commodities, say coffee, increases, it will result to a decrease in demand for supply of tea. Likewise, a decrease in demand of the quantity of another good. So in one way or another, we may demonstrate out this kind of uh, inter interrelated supply and uh, what is known as competitive supply. So when the price of one of the commodities, say coffee, increases, it will result to a decrease in supply of tea. Likewise, a decrease in price of coffee will result to a decrease in supply of coffee, but with the increase in supply of tea. So this can be expressed in the form of schedule like this. We have the price of the coffee in Tanzania shillings in left and the quantity of tea in kilograms. That is 2, 4, up to 14. And we have also 14, 12, 16, 8, 6, 4, and 2. So what you need to note, uh, what you need to note is that the competitive supply, this happens when different commodities are competing in the use of a certain resources in the process of production. So if the production of one commodity increases, it will mean the few resources remain for the production of other commodities. So if more land is used for production of cash crops, it will mean that the smaller land area remains for the production of other crops. So the above schedule now uh, show uh, that the price of coffee increases, so the quantity of tea supply decreases. So the reason is that the two commodities are in competitive supply. Hence now an increase in supply of one commodity due to the increase in the supplies will lead to a decrease in supply for the other. So what we observe the above as schedule, we can represent the, its curve. So the above schedule can be presented in the form of a curve shown in the figure below. So suppose we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 up to 14. And we have the x-axis quantity of t in kilograms, that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. As I told you earlier, this, uh, this means that the above shows that as uh, the price of coffee increases now, less quantity of tea is supplied. So this means that as uh, the price of coffee increases, this means that many of the producers will be encouraged to produce more coffee than another kind of quantity of good. So its graph would be a negative slope uh, from left from uh, from uh, left to right like this. So this means that as the price of uh, coffee increases, now many of the consumers will produce less of tea. This is because the price of coffee actually enables producers to attain more profit and selling at a higher price level than the quantity of tea which is price is low and the intention of the producers to maximize high profit. Composite supply, this is the total supply of two goods which are substituting to one another. For example, the total supply of coffee and tea and the total supply of blue land and the, the tea band. The blue band and together with the tea with the tan band. So joint supply is also, this is, is when some of the goods are produced together or they have the common process of production. These goods are said to have a joint supply. The supply of such goods increases and the supply of the butter cheese or maybe cream increases and so forth like that. So under joint supply, 
we may speak about this these goods are said to have a joint supply so the supply of milk is increases increased the supply of the butter cheese and the cream increases so when the supply of crude oil increases the supply of diesel engine oil and petrol increases and when the supply of meat increases the supply of the hides increases and etc this all this actual is actually demonstrated under what is known as the joint supply so different from the compound supply whereby the total supply of two goods which are substitute to one another so under compound supply we talk about the supply of the two goods which are substitute to one another so it can be coffee and tea it can be meat and fish and so forth under joint demand supply we speak about the goods which a producer must produce all of them on the pair all together so these are good produced together so they have the common process of production this means that their production process is very common it's very similar so this can be demonstrated we can demonstrate the above schedule uh, we can demonstrate the above schedule in the following curves in the following we can demonstrate now uh what is known as the compound supply joint supply and what is known as the supply schedule so let's assume we are we have the price of meat in the left hand side in tanzanian shillings and we have the quantity in kilogram the kilo, the quantity of hides so we will take an example for meat in the hide and a joint supply as you can observe So since we have the price that is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70, and we have the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. So the above schedule uh, actually present out the form of a, the, the, the above schedule demonstrate for the joint supply, whereby some goods are produced together. So they have the common process of production. So if they are the same common of production, so they, they are said to have a joint supply. We can demonstrate also the above schedule, the above supply schedule of the joint supply by using by, by demonstrating them in the curve. So when you demonstrate the curve, the curve will appear like this. We have the price in Tanzanian shillings, the reference side, and we have also the quantity of high supplied in program. So our graph now, uh, suppose we have uh, the following data sets. We have the the quantity in high kilograms and the price level so this is the price uh, in tanzanian shillings and we have the quantity in, in kilogram the quantity of hard supply in kilogram so since here we have 5, the quantity 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 45. But also we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So in this figure here, when the price of meat increases, when the price of meat increases, more quantities of meats are supplied, leading to an increase in supply of hides, leading to an increase in supply of hides. So because the two commodities are producing the same production level, so they are produced together. Because the two commodities are supplied together. So an increase in supply of one, due to an increase in price, it leads to the increase in supply of another good. So normal, your graph will appear going above, going uh, upward from left to right. From left to right. So when the actual what when the price of a, a given quantity increases, it influences another production of the same quantity of commodity. So the joint demand is actually arising in that form. So that is the supply that increase in supply of hides, as you can observe. So from the what you need to understand from this graph here, when the price of meat increases more quantities of meats are supplied really to an increase in supply of hides because of the two commodities are supplied together so an increase in supply of one due to an increase in its price really to its increase in supply of another commodity so if, if there's an increase in supply of meat uh, due to an increase in the price of it it will influence also an increase in supply of hides in one way or another
So that is how we, we demonstrate out the supply schedule under what is known as a joint joint supply.